Good morning, everybody. Today, like most days, is not very eventful. Uh, right now, I'm draining the hot tub. Oh, uh, interesting. Hmm. How do I gimbal lock in this mode? Anyways, draining the hot tub. It's about halfway drained. This pump is fast as hell. And, uh, have to go to the store, get some, um, valves for the water, hot and cold, for the washer and dryer, or not dryer, but the washing machine for our clothes. What else we gotta do, Houston? Hmm. I have to pet the pups. Pet the pups. Hi, pups. I'll pet you. I'll pet you. Um... Yeah, not a super eventful day, but, um, it's my day. All right, let's go. All right, we are in the shopping center of the complex I don't know what to call it of our uh, home improvement stores or one of our home improvement store options is um, it looks like ain't nobody here so parking is uh, quite open So we got our pipe fittings, right here, these. Got two of them, one hot, one cold, water lead. That's nice. Um, <clears throat> so we're gonna go back home right now, or that's what I'm doing right now, is so we're driving back home. I'm gonna check on the hot tub drainage, see where that's at. Um, probably done by now. So then we'll scrub down, rinse, drain again, and then fill with clean water. Uh, add some chlorine and then just let it get to temperature and then install the pipe fittings or or I might have Jose do it one of the guys that works for us the new guy actually he's over doing some stuff at the house um, we recently learned our dishwasher was leaking and it's caused water damage all the way down to the subfloor of like that side of the kitchen so we uh probably looking at doing a remodel here this year for the kitchen so uh, finally get to put one of the beautiful kitchens that we normally build for other people for our clients in our old our own home we're also going to get to experience the struggle of living without a kitchen which just not having like a kitchen sink throws off the cycle my, my normal like habits it's like it's very annoying so uh it's an experience though and life's all about experiences we're almost home we're like a quarter mile away from the house so i'll see y'all then So today at some point we're probably going to get some fuel so we're just under a quarter tank we've got like 70 miles still empty 68 miles still empty we'll go get fuel for the truck as well um this gimbal's acting weird my dudes yep Nice and drained. Let's uh, scrub it down and uh, refill. So I really messed this up in camera and the filming is horrible, I apologize. But what I'm doing here is removing the screw so I can remove the handle. Uh, this particular water faucet, the teeth and grooves, both on the faucet stem and handle are stripped. So when I twist it, it just spins. It doesn't actually open the valve, allowing the water to flow. I'm trying to show the um, the teeth and grooves, but it's 
not focusing. You can kind of see it there, but it's it's not focused. Now I'm explaining that if I take the channel locks, those right there, that I can adjust the jaws on them to the proper size and clip it on um, and use the channel locks essentially as the handle. Got lucky and it was actually the proper size, but right there I'm explaining that you can twist that rear screw to loosen and tighten it. And right there I'm realizing that the hose isn't inside of the hot tub and it's just flowing everywhere. All right, this is now filling. Come back in 45 minutes. Come back in 45 minutes and check on that. Constant home improvements here. highlight from last night's stream while this renders we're gonna go back to the store we got the wrong part uh, I got what I was told to get and turns out that they were wrong so off to the store we go again all right uh, so we're going back to the we're going back to the, um, the store the wrong part was asked for so the wrong part was purchased so we're going back we want half inch to three quarter uh, thread and um, what else oh and the winds kicked up that's what I was gonna say the wind is kicked up it's gotten cold it's dropped like 10 15 degrees and 10 five ten minutes or so so it's a, uh, it's getting quite cold. Yeah, earlier, earlier it was almost 70, and it's now 56 degrees. Uh, I don't like wind. It's one thing to be cold, but once you get like that wind chill factor, it, it makes it feel so much colder, and I don't like being cold. Also, I don't like being hot. Hmm. Would I rather be hot or rather be cold? I'd rather be cold, actually. I feel like it's easier to warm up than it is to cool down. Yep. That's my answer. I'm sticking to it. Just got home. We got the right part this time. I mean, same part, but the correct size. Um, waiting on the video to finish rendering. One minute left, almost two minutes left. Um, so I have some slight change of plans for the day. Don't remember what I said this morning, but what we're going to be doing now is hooking the hooking or hitching the trailer to the truck, taking that to the dumps to empty it, and then taking the empty trailer to go pick up a secondhand tool, a big ass bandsaw. Uh, we're working on getting some like more industrial, like, stationary shop tools to start doing high-end cabinets and stuff like that. Uh, take our our construction game to the next level so we don't have to outsource to people because people are idiots and don't work to the standards we have. Um, and from there, we're either going to, let's see. So after that, when I come home again, I'll edit my wife's video. She's been asking me to edit for a couple of days now and then cook dinner go for a hike come home shower maybe hot tub and watch a movie and then edit this video so it's ready for tomorrow morning yeah
Oh, and Russian. I need to do my Russian lesson at some point today so I can keep consistent with it. What you making? Mother-in-law's tongue. Mother-in-law's tongue. This is what it's called in Romanian. Okay. Bye, Larissa. I'm hooking the trailer up. Don't know if you can see it in the mirror or not. Can't really even see it on the screen. Nailed it. Which is easy to do when you have a uh, rear view camera. Now we just need to throw this tarp over the top of it. Not bad. Fueled up. Now we have to head to the dumps, and then from the dumps, we're gonna go pick up the tool. And then from there, I have to edit my wife's video, and then cook dinner. Then we go for a hike, and then edit this video so y'all can watch it. Dumps now. You good? So, I thought I was gonna track my face. Or maybe it will. Kinda, whatever. Anyways, loaded up with the tools. Had a strap come undone on us, but that got that situation got uh, solved fairly easy. Uh, now we just need to make it home without anything else going wrong. And I gotta start cooking dinner. See you when we get back to the house. So the dog's barking at me. What you barking at? All right, so Holy cow. we're home. I'm gonna like this. And uh, we're gonna start cooking dinner. We're gonna wash our hands up. Start cooking dinner. Oh, Hold on. Unsalted butter. Some garlic. Two cups. Chicken broth. One cup milk. Now we're gonna crank up the heat, get it to a boil. And then we're gonna reduce the heat. So, it's the end of the day. Uh, cooking got a little uh, intense with all the things I was cooking at once and cooking all the time, and so I decided to put down the camera and focus on the food so I didn't burn or ruin anything. But we did, uh, I did a uh, garlic cream sauce for my fettuccine, uh, all from scratch, chicken parmesan and um, Caesar salad, along with garlic bread. Came out great. And then, um, <clears throat> let's see here. I'm super tired, so I'm going to sleep. I'm going to edit this video that you're going to be watching uh, tomorrow morning. I'm going to shower, then crawl into bed, watch a couple shows, and probably fall asleep with the TV on. 
Night, everybody.